Welcome to the Paper Exposer Quick Guide. My name is Jakub and I'm going to show you today how to make real darkroom prints with just your camera and the Paper Exposer app. So what's the deal here? As a film photographer you most likely want to print your negatives on real photographic paper. This is the 35 millimeter film and everyone who talks about film most probably thinks of. But to get negatives printed on photographic paper you are going to need an enlarger and a lot of more equipment and that's where the Paper Exposer app comes in. This here is an enlarger for 35 millimeter film. Now imagine how big an enlarger has to be for um, 6x6 or medium format film which can be also 6x9, 6x12, 6x7, whatever you name it. It gets even bigger and worse when we talk about uh, 4x5s or 8 by 10 in the end. So this was about size only. When we talk about some extras like uh, multi-grade exposure, if you're new to film photography I will, um, you will get used to this uh, very quickly. There's very comfortable systems but they are very expensive and then on the other side there are cheaper solutions which are, depending on how you use them, not very comfortable. And that's another deal of the Paper Exposer app. Besides all this, the filters, the enlarger, we also need a timer to expose the light on the paper through the negative so that the prints in the end, they are not overexposed, they are not underexposed and by using filters we level the contrast out. So what's the deal with the filters? Clearly here you can see that this picture has too much contrast. Why is that? Well, the negative itself was very contrasty. So I used the filter, which would be a yellow filter, to lower the contrast on the picture and to get it better printed. But this picture also is this picture. They were not printed with an enlarger, they were printed with the Paper Exposer app. And I'm going to show you now the idea behind this. Since you already have a camera, you will not need an enlarger anymore. So what's the idea behind this? Here's the negative we are going to print. This is a cafe scene in uh, Lebanon earlier from earlier this year. We are going to print uh, on uh, FOMA paper. I like to use FOMA for various reasons. In that case, especially because it's a very fast paper. This is uh, 8 by 10 or so 18 by 24 centimeters. So this negative was also shot on FOMA Professional. As you can see, I'm a big fan of FOMA. Just make sure it's well aligned with the rubber band. Okay, I just put it in place on the camera. Now I'm going back to the app. I press focus tab, I start focus, the screen goes full wide, I put it on. Now um, you are going to focus, for this you can uh, use uh, this grain finder to focus on the grain, more on that in a more specific video. It's focus, I uh, decided on the frame. Now since everything is uh, set up, I can go back into the app. And first of all, I can choose the brightness in the menu if I want with the slider. So I can make it really bright or really low. Also, I can choose darkroom mode, which will give you a little bit more security if you want to. I recommend just start with these colors. Just put your uh, RGB sliders for the first exposure on uh, red, green 100%, leave the blue out. And on the second exposure, you uh, imitate the magenta filter, which is uh, red full, uh, blue full, and leave the green wavelength out. Here uh, on these brightness controls, you can choose the brightness of each of the exposures. So uh, we can go uh, down to zero if we want, but also uh, to one, which uh, means 100%. Now, how do I control the times? Um, the timer is set for each color uh, separately. Uh, I'm going to do the test strips. And in this case, now I'm going to put four seconds for yellow and four seconds for magenta. 
since we don't know nothing about the negative really and we don't uh, know the height of the camera we need to do test strips to know where the exposure times will be for the final print for this case we use the triggered exposure style mm, means we are going to put in our headphones now if you have some it's great if you don't have headphones it's not a problem but it will make your life much more easy so everything is set up i go to start exposure and what's going to happen once i press the volume button the exposure is going to start as you can see right now now it's four seconds on yellow four seconds on magenta and it stops automatically i put the phone now onto my negative everything is set up we just uh, take our paper out of the box never mind it won't get exposed since we're in safe light right now feel the emulsion side we will get used to that pretty quickly uh, now i put a piece of black paper and start the exposure Remember, four seconds for each color. Four seconds. and see what's going to happen. There we go. So, um, why did I use the black piece of paper? I just covered some places in the picture to get different exposure levels. fixing it for a short time. What do we see? So we had four seconds for each color, if you remember. That means um, this was a whole exposure time of eight seconds for yellow, for magenta. Then uh, we added another section you can see here. So we add this up. It's eight, it's 16 it's 24 it's 32 seconds here it's clearly too dark for me and uh, in the end this lower section is not important for the picture i would like to concentrate here on the cafe i actually think this is too bright here the chairs are maybe too dark but you have to see like, this is in the shadows so this is too bright, definitely. This might be okay. So it's again, 8, 16, 24. I think I might go with 20 seconds. With those 20 seconds, I might be okay, but I think the contrast will be too high. So this is important now. I'm not only going to change the overall exposure time, I'm also going to change the contrast. And this is by uh, I want basically I want to lower the contrast. This means I need more yellow and less magenta. So since overall I have 20 seconds, I split the 20 seconds uh, between yellow and magenta. This would be 10, 10. So we would the result in the brightness we want. But I'm going to give the yellows some more time, the magenta a little bit less time. Let's say I'm going to go for 5 seconds magenta and 15 seconds of yellow and this should give me a pretty good uh, result already. Okay, so and now I'm going to the settings again. We came from 4 and 4 seconds and now I said uh, we are going to split 
overall exposure time of 20 seconds between yellow and magenta and I said like 15 and 5, no let's make it 7 and 13. This is just by feeling right now. The whole process of printing paper positives in the dark room is a process of iteration actually. We are good with this. I go into expose mode again. I say start exposure, place the phone. I again grab some paper, put it there, emulsion side down, turn it around, open the easel and we are good to go. So this is 13 seconds of oops, 13 seconds. So this is 13 seconds of yellow and seven seconds of magenta or magenta as you like. Okay, that's it. And here we go. So that's it. Those are the two pictures side by side. As you can see, the exposure overall is something between uh, the 16 and 24 seconds. So if you concentrate on this section here, you can see that uh, we pretty much got it. So that's what we do with these test strips to just see, okay, where is my exposure time going to be? And we also lower the contrast. So you have to make pretty sure that your negative is low contrast um, in the first place if you know you are going to shoot a high contrast scene. I myself, I like high contrast pictures more because it gives more drama and I like it especially here in uh, this situation. So yeah, that's it. I hope you really enjoyed my video. This was the quick guide only if you want more technical information on this. I will upload more videos about specific functions of the app like the exposure pause mode, how to vary contrast and I'm really looking forward to show you how to use the app on 4x5s with the 4x5 camera. So far that's it for now. This is a print we got from an application and the cameras we already used. The app is online since yesterday, available in the App Store. I hope you enjoy it. I'd be very happy if you subscribe to the channel since I'm going to upload many more videos on the app. Like it if you liked it, comment in the comment section, I try to answer every question and keep shooting film. Thank you.